Uh, good, good morning, this is Stephen with Iowa Backyard Farmer. Just wanted to give you a quick highlight on one of our, our favorite pepper plants. We started growing it last year. This is called Aji Rico, and this is what the peppers look like. It is known as a paprika pepper. And uh, last year we grew it, it got hit by dicamba, so it was a little bit delayed, but this year we were able to keep it, uh, keep it safe from the herbicide. And look at these plants. They are just loaded and they make the most delicious uh, paprika peppers uh, that we've ever had. So what we'll do, we'll take these, we'll wash them off, cut them in half, and then we're gonna smoke them. And then after we're done smoking them for four or five hours, we will uh, put them on the dehydrator, completely dry them out, and then put them in a spice grinder, and we're gonna have smoked paprika for, uh, for this next year. Super delicious, wonderful plant. So I actually thought after uh, we, we picked all those peppers that we would come out and I'll show you the rest of the process for how we uh, process them and turn them into a powder that uh, we really like. So what, what, what we're making today is a smoked paprika. And so I, I took all the peppers, cut off the tops, sliced them essentially in half, seeded them, and then brought them out and put them on our smoker. Let's take a look. So I just brought them out a few minutes ago. It's already been smoking for a little bit. We can see that what we were able to pick just from that one day filled up our smoker. And, and we just have a pellet smoker here, one that we got from Sam's Club on, on clearance at the end of the year not too long ago. And we just used the pellets that um, you can get there from Sam's Club. Uh, been pleased with the, the flavor. Uh, when we're smoking peppers, we want to keep the, the temperature about as low as this will go. It typically sits around 100, between 180 and 190. And uh, that allows us to, to get the, the good smoke, you know, built into the, the peppers, but not to burn them. So we will smoke for about three, maybe four hours. We'll check on it, on it a couple of times just to make sure that we're not uh, crisping anything. And then after that, we'll uh, put it into our dehydrator. Well, it's been about four hours. So I thought we'd come back out and uh, get these pulled off. The rain is about, is just starting. You can see uh, some of the, the drops hit in here so let's take a look and see what they look like again i need to get them taken in but if you come in close you can see that things have smoked nicely so i have my daughter rachel here who's brought out a tray so we can take these straight to the dehydrator if you'll pull that up here closer we'll just come in and try to load all these up a lot are going to fall through, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll pull the tray off and get them uh, get them anyway. Okay, so got in, uh, just barely beat the rain, but uh, got two trays worth, and have got. Uh, and we're going to come in and set these inside uh, the dehydrator, and we'll let them dehydrate for the night, and we'll check on them again in the morning. Okay, so this is Jennifer, I'm here. We've got our Aji Rico peppers dried from the dehydrator. Um, you can tell that they're dry because when they cool down, they're really crisp and they should shatter. And what we've got here is a little spice grinder and it doesn't hold very much, but it, it's way more effective than like a blender or something else, unless you're doing a whole bunch of something. It'll get a finer grind. And so I just kind of break these up and you want to double check all your pieces that they're, they're all crispy, dry. And then you're going to put them in your spice grinder and be a little loud for a second. And we're going to let the dust settle there because a spicy hot pepper powder is not good on your lungs. And then you want to have an airtight container. A plastic bag won't be good enough, but a mason jar or an airtight with a, with a lid will work really well. And then you can see that's just beautiful paprika powder there, and it's all dry. You could do another step and put it on a parchment in the low oven and let it bake for like 15 minutes if you wanted to make really sure it's dry. Okay, here we are. The last batch has been ground. You can see it's lovely. It should be light. It should be loose. We're going to pour that, tap it into our jar. A little bit of a thing there. We can try and tap out the rest maybe with a brush or something. And we want to make sure we have 
an airtight lid. You could vacuum seal this lid if you wanted it to last longer. It can be light and loose in there. And we use this in so many things, in potatoes, beans, anywhere I want a spicy flavor. It's, it's so much better than store-bought. Um, hope you give it a try. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'll talk to you later. Bye.